Hello there, and thank you for joining us today with another Mango Voice tutorial. My name is Tyler, and today we're going to be showing you how to adjust your DSS keys on your phone. Now, your DSS keys, those are the buttons on the left and right side of the screen. They give you access to speed dials, the parking lot, and additional lines. So I'm going to be showing you how to adjust those today. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is log into the admin website. So once we're in there, we're going to find the tab that says My Devices. And then we're going to want to adjust the phone that we want to change. So we're going to pick a phone, hop into it, and then we're going to scroll down here to our line and button options. Now, as you can see, they are labeled one through however many buttons you'll have. This particular device has 27. Now, the first one we have here is line. That one you never want to change. Uh, that is how your phone is operating. It ties it to the appropriate extension. That way you can make and receive phone calls. So you'll just want to leave that one alone. You can change the display label. Um, instead of calling it line one, you can call it something else. However, your additional lines two and three will not be able to be changed. So we recommend just leaving this the same so it's all uniform. A rollover, that is your line two. So on my device, this button right here, the display label says line two. It is going to give a display label of line, and then it's going to do the corresponding button as the number. So if we had this one down here saying rollover, that would be line 10, not line four, because we already have three in here. A parking lot. The parking lot, of course, is where your parking calls. You can add additional parking lots to your phone. To do so, all you have to do is make this a parking lot, and then select the parking lot that you would like to use. We can have up to 10 parking lots, and you don't want to select the same one twice, because then it's just the same parking lot, and you're not going to get any use out of it. So you will want to make sure you change that to a new parking lot. Now, because we want to keep the parking lots together, having a new parking lot down here doesn't really do me any good. So right here on the left, if you click, you'll be able to move these buttons, so you can get them right where you want them. You can also add presence buttons um, if you would like to. Um, to do so, again, all you do is click this drop down, select presence, and then it's going to give you a list of extensions on your account. Presence buttons are only going to let you call extensions on the account. It is also going to light up red, indicating that that person is already on the phone, so that way you won't be calling them when they're busy. A speed dial is going to allow you to call whichever number we have here in our speed dial. Now, you do will select speed dial and you will have to type in the phone number that you want it to call. So you'll type in that number and then you will want to label it appropriately on the far right hand side. That way you'll know what that speed dial is associated with. Now we also have a shared voicemail. And we're going to go up on how to set up a shared voicemail in a different video, but this will allow you to access the voicemails in that shared voicemail. You will have to click on shared voicemail here, of course, and then you can have more than one, so you're going to make sure you select the proper one. If you only have the one, it will default to this, of course. And then you'll want to rename the display label. It is always going to do VM followed by the extension that the shared voicemail is tied to. This one is 600, so I like to just call it voicemail. So we're just going to do voicemail. And after you have everything named and looking the way you want, you will just scroll down here and click on Update Device. Now once it says updated successfully, you will have to reboot your phone and you can do so by unplugging from power and internet and plugging it right back in. Thank you for joining me today with your Mango tutorial. And if this tutorial helped you today, I would appreciate it if you take a moment to like this video. And if you're interested in more tutorials, consider subscribing to our channel as we are going to be uploading more videos to help you with your Mango system.